And we begin having listened to the wonderful track from Shiananol on Deep Peace, the beautiful gift of peace. Let us just listen for the next few seconds. The gift of deep peace to our hearts. A precious gift. A gift that so many are in need of today, don't you think? Well, let us just relax and allow the spirit of the four winds, the spirit of the creator, the spirit of the universe, let us just be still as we come together as children of love, beloveds of the Supreme, Gaia's children, custodians with her of the earth and the animal kingdom. We are the breath of God. So let us just relax. First, I would like us to light our candle for peace, for a raising of, the, of mankind's consciousness to embrace that of goodness, to embrace compassion, to embrace decency, integrity and respect for oneself, for one's spirit for the animal kingdom, for nature, the landscape, the gift of God. So we light our candles for peace and we light it in the name of our Father, Mother, God Supreme who creates life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia who is our beloved Earth Mother who nurtures the divine in all things, in the name of our brothers and sisters of all faiths and none for they too are the children of God our brothers and sisters, members of the mystical heart of God. And we now celebrate our spiritual diversity by honoring the Supreme in all things. Let us come to this table. Let us come in love. Let us come as brothers and sisters who are loved. So let us just for a moment just embrace the gift of peace, the gift of selfless love. Let us focus on our in-breaths and just take a nice deep non-labored in-breaths and breathe in the peace of God, the peace of universal love, 
and hold it. And now release any tension, any stress, any fear to Gaia. And in our next in-breath, let us breathe in that peace and let that peace transform us. And as we breathe out, let us breathe out love to one another here and love to the whole family of the Supreme and relax. And in our next in breaths, we breathe unconditional love from the Supreme and Gaia right into our being. Let us hold that love. And now in our out breaths, let us breathe love to the whole family of God, especially to the wounded, the unloved, and those in crisis. Now let us relax. And now continue breathing to the rhythm of your own breathing. If you're wearing shoes or slippers, I would invite you to remove them because Gaia wishes to give to you the gift of her love, her healing love, in recognition for your love, for your support as an ambassador of peace. So just feel her love circulating around the chakras in your feet and with every in-breath that you breathe you are receiving her love and it's flowing right up through every chakra in your body balancing strengthening realigning and cleansing you Feel her love. Feel her love for the children of God who embrace the beauty of God in creation, the cathedral of God, and the animal kingdom are the choristers of God, for they sing the praises of God. Just let's listen, listen to the heartbeat of the universe and let us sense the deep peace from the Supreme and from Gaia. And in the stillness, be aware of the I Am Presence living within you. The I Am Presence who was with your spirit before you were born, before you incarnated in any lifetime, you were given the I Am Presence. Let us connect with the I Am Presence. We may not be aware of it, but the Spirit of God is within each child of God. Prepare for a short practice. So let us be breath. still now and let us come as beloveds of God. Let us be still in the presence of the great Spirit of love within our being. It's been there before we were born, often ignored, but now we shall reawaken our mind, body and spirit to the I Am Presence of Divine Oneness and embrace the Divine Consciousness of Love who 
loves us, who cares for us, and who cares for those who disrespect the laws of nature and the laws of God. That love is unconditional love, and it's our free gift. And the moment we surrender our heart to this love, the mystical heart of God, the mystical heart of divine oneness enfolds us and empowers us to release all negativity, all fear and anxiety and embrace the power of the Supreme. So let us now sit in our sacred space and using the gift of free will let us acknowledge the I Am Presence within us, not outside us, but within every molecule and atom of our being, in every membrane, tissue, in every organ, we are a temple of the Supreme. We are a vortex of light. Regardless of our belief, regardless of our faith tradition, we are temple of love, divine love. Let us embrace that love. And let us come confidently because we are a child of love. And we come as a beloved of God. We come as a child of the universe. We come as a child of Gaia, our beloved Earth Mother. And it is right that we should not deny ourselves this amazing, wonderful, blessed opportunity to meet the I Am Presence within us. Just sit quietly now and become aware of the spirit of the I Am Presence within you. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me, your child, with life and
I cross the bridge into the silent bliss of my castle. I close the drawbridge and forbid all outside influences from entry into this holy place, my soul. Here in my castle, I am alone with my God, the Supreme. Under God's light and companionship, I discovered the depths and the beauty of my soul. I embrace the power of prayer. I open myself to divine guidance. I surrender myself to become as a channel for grace, for healing and service as God directs my life. Let us now, in our interior castle, our soul, as we sit quietly, let us become aware of the I Am Presence living within us from before we incarnated into this lifetime. It is a spirit of love, a spirit of great beauty, a wholesomeness that empowers us embrace a joy-filled, peaceful life devoid of stress where we embrace our first love, the Beloved, where nothing is impossible for the Beloved, for we are a child of that love. We were anointed by the very breath of God to be a vortex of light to the children of God. So let us now sit in the stillness of our sacred space. And let us now call on the company of heaven. Let us summon the angelic realm, the messengers of God, by using their mantra. Yes, they have a mantra that brings them to us immediately, instantly, they will appear to us. Inura, 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 Seinura. If you would like to repeat it after me, Inura. E nu ra, e nu ra, ze nu ra, and it translates, angels, here I am, I come to be with you. sense the presence of the messengers of God. They have come to you. They are in your aura. They are in your space. They are all around you. They can see you. They can hear you. And they know exactly what you need right now. So now we invite them to connect us to the angelic realm, the frequency that they use, so that we can hear them and receive their guidance 
and implement it for our highest good. And as we relax, we are aware of a stirring in our heart, in our sacred temple, we are aware of the Spirit of God within us. It is a spirit of selfless love. It is a spirit of forgiving love. It is a spirit loves us for who we are, regardless of how we feel. It is a spirit that invites us to surrender, not only our heart, but our mind, our fear that alienates us from divine love. It invites us to take responsibility for our life. It invites us to embrace a joy-filled life in service to love. It invites us to see the face of God to receive the love of the Supreme. And with every in-breath that we breathe now, let us reawaken in our spirit, our higher self, our soul, and become aware of the I Am Presence who is God, the Divine One, the Omnipotent One, the Holy One, who is within you and me. Breathe on me, breath of God, fill me, your child, with life anew that I may love what thou dost love, and do what thou wouldst do. That is the prayer of an Old Testament prophet, the prophet Malachi, and it is one of the most beautiful prayers from the Old Testament Bible. Breathe on me, breath of God the breath of the Abrahamic God, of the Jew, the Muslim and the Christian, the breath of God of the Hindu, the Sikh, the Baha'i and the Buddha, the same God, but known by many different names. Let's open our hearts. Let us embrace the divine and let there be no fear, for God is near. Relax now and experience the healing touch of the I Am Presence. And with every in-breath that you breathe, you are being touched by the Spirit of God. You are being set free to live your life free of worry and drama and to receive your abundance from God. And in the
the stillness, experience the touch of the spirit of selfless love. I'm receiving in my heart to share with you is simply this. I called you by your name. I called you by your name. I have loved you with an everlasting love. none to compare with you, for you are the beloved of my heart. Wow. Breathe on me. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill us with life in you that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Allow your heart be anointed by the Spirit
as we relax now into the arms of the beloved, we are safe, we are protected, we are protected. The blessings of heaven, the blessings of earth, the blessings of sea and sky, blessings of brother, son and sister moon be in the hearts of those who have surrendered to love, who have surrendered to love. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonam Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Peace. peace of the Supreme enrich your heart on this new day. Be filled with the spirit of peace. And may we take this opportunity to wish our beloved sister Eleanor a blessed and happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear friend. Bob go